Okay, so um, now I okay micro microphone is on. That's good. Um, I am back, and the reason why it says that there were zero that went through, one that failed, and zero remaining is because. I forgot to turn the microphone on the first time after I was when between installing the updates and this screen I forgot to turn the microphone back on I don't know why I turned it off I thought I would remember to turn it back on but anyway um, so I will continue from this point on and another problem with it was that I went over the 15 minute limit time limit for um, videos on YouTube I don't know I if I remember right that's only for um, new user accounts but anyway let's go through and look at the rest of Microsoft update and to review all updates you've installed from this website by turning on or by turning on automatic updating on your computer see your update history and if you go there it lists all of the updates that were ever installed on this computer see we have definition update for security essentials and if you see here service pack 2 for office 2010 there 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 and there and the reason why they've all failed is because I, uh, for now, I don't want uh, the service pack to, unless Microsoft quits service for it, I don't really want to install it, just because it'll take a while, I think, and it's not responding. One way to get out of not responding things is to uh, hmm. is, oh, okay, there it works. One way to get rid of um, or hmm. one way to make programs run properly is to or if they're not responding you can move the mouse around where it was where it started to not respond properly and as you see here I have all these updates and um, yeah um, well I have all these updates that have been installed that's by the update name you can do by the product you can do it by the date that it was installed, that was by default. You can do it by the status, whether it was installed, or if it's not installed, or if it was succeeded, canceled, or failed. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why those, those failed. Maybe because I... I, if I remember right, the one right there, I can't remember right now, but um, anyway, source, this will list the source of the update, where it came from. These say Windows Update, and then 31 to 40 still say Windows Update ah uh, those are still Windows Update wait is that Internet Explorer 6? hmm oh yeah I remember why that said that um wait I don't know why I thought it was because I tried to uninstall Internet Explorer 8, then reinstall it to fix the favorites bar issue up here. Favorites doesn't show the um, 
for some reason it wasn't showing the history feeds in favor or favorites history and favorites feeds in history tabs so I tried to get rid of it and then reinstall it seeing if that would work and that didn't help it see right here I set it so that it's on history instead of the favorites because I already have it favorites right there I put it on the on the favorites bar so that's basically a workaround and what I do now is I just hit that button right there the add to favorites bar button and sometimes it doesn't work I wonder where the first one or the second one was huh I'll just delete that anyway yeah because okay uh, if you notice right here I already have it up there I guess I could put this over in my computer's bar or the folder thing and uh, I need to get back to this um, see if you notice here it says other source definition update for security essentials I'm going to move the microphone right quick and when I'm doing this I'll pause it so that it's easier to talk into it okay so now I'm done moving the microphone around and click on that oh yeah um, the definition update that was via Microsoft Security Essentials uh, I wonder if it'll ever say automatic updates in here nope oh well so next we have to go to uh, we can look at change settings now language Microsoft update displays web pages in the same language you use to view Windows you can change the language you use to view Microsoft update but some pages may might display information in more than one language important if you if you change the recommended language setting you must install the corresponding language pack for Internet Explorer. And I have it in English right now, recommended. Otherwise it would be the language that the person is that they normally use. Advance. Show beta products and related updates. Microsoft Update can offer you pre-released beta versions of products as they become available. Note the use of beta software. I mean use note use beta software at your own risk. It is intended for testing and evaluation purposes only. Do not install beta software on your primary computer or production environment. And then apply changes now button. To stop using Microsoft Update if you no longer want to install updates using this website, you can disable the supporting software on your computer. You can still get updates from the Windows Update website by visiting the site or by turning on automatic updating on your computer. However, you will not be able to get updates for products other than Windows. Yeah, my microphone. My microphone is still on. That's a good thing. I don't want it to turn off again because then that means that I um, it records sound from inside the computer and it sounds kind of weird when it does that. Okay, so they also have frequently asked questions and I'm not going to read all of these but I will um, scroll down so that you can pause them, pause the video, and read it. And you can pause it right now if you would like. I will pause the recording too. So, okay, now I will scroll down. I will scroll the this down. 
and how often sh should I visit Microsoft Update that will now be at the top of this screen. Okay, now this is you may pause the video right now so that you can read the stuff on the frequently asked questions. Now I will scroll down and make using Microsoft Update this heading this heading right here. I'll make that at the top of this screen. Now you may pause the video again to read all of these. Now the heading right here, if I hide an update, how do I get it back later? That will be at the top. Oops, sorry. Oh, yeah. There. Now it's at the top. Okay, now um, I will pause this again, then keep scrolling down the page until I get to the end. Okay? Now I'm going to scroll down to supported versions and languages. Make that at the top because this is a new area of the website or the frequently asked questions. Now I will pause it again so that you can look at this chart of the versions of Windows which is a little bit outdated because Windows XP Service Pack 2 I thought that was unsupported, but apparently it's still supported. Maybe it is. I don't know, though. Now I'm going to pause it. Now I will make the top of this graph, or this chart, the top of the web page. As you can see, there is only a little bit here. So, I'll just keep scrolling down. I'll let you pause it right here if, we, you, would, if you need to read this more. Now I will make the which products does Microsoft Update support, I will make that at the top of this web page. Oh, and if you didn't read this, you may read that right now. Now what you do is you, you'll you click on the Start button down in the lower left-hand corner. Right-click on the My Computer icon. Actually, I'll do that right now. Click here. Right-click on My Computer. Go down to Properties. And then you will see that it says system Microsoft Windows XP professional version 2002 service pack 3 and now um, oh I'll make the which products is Microsoft update support I'll make that at the top there I put that at the top now you may read the now you may pause the video and watch or read it. I am um, actually what I'll do is I'll make a new video. I'll stop this one right quick and save it and start a new video.